garage fam hey we're at the acl headquarters rock hill south carolina uh we're very far away from the camera right now uh we have this mic we we've got our guy uh, obviously dale's here hey hey pantene it's me dale tanhart the greatest nascar better in the universe but you already know that we got a guy that this guy for this one weekend was the king was the truck god himself <laughs> BB815 in the Discord. Shout out. The Discord is free. You Discord know, you know is who free. this guy is now. And I, should we just open with that? Open with the BB815 yeah. hit? So obviously, sh- we got to give a shout out. BB23. 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 Come on, Dale. No, no, no. We're going to look at BB23. this. BB23. I swear. Hold on a second. So, if, so basically, if you're... If you don't know who BB23 is, it's because you're not in the Discord. If you want to be in the Discord, you, you send me a DM. Send him a DM. Send Premium. BB Premium. a DM. Premium. Where it happened. Premium. Premium. So we're going to talk That's about... That guy is one, too. Two, three. Okay, Damn. BB23. So we, so we, ha- we, have, we have two... two we have okay, two... Right. Like We compared you to like R2-D2 from Star Wars, but like a money printer robot because of the hit that you had. And I want to get into that. We're also going to be getting in to the race. We're back to NASCAR action. Watkins Glen. Uh, go bowling at so the Glen. So fucking pumped, baby. Don't, don't, let's not forget about IndyCar, Olympics. too. I'll have IndyCar picks for the Nashville Music City Grand Prix. Music City G. Going to be an awesome race. Going to be a – man, this is an awesome time here, but goddamn, that is an awesome time there, too. I mean, I've been looking at Twitter, and there's – celebrities drivers out everywhere in nashville right yeah. now cars That's sound like hornets time. if you got to go there or are there right now i'm jealous live but. it up we've got some garage fam that are actually in nashville right now i told them in the discord i was like make sure that you do what you need to do we're here doing what we need to do bb23 not eight one but shout out to 815 that guy has won some money too yeah bb23 uh, is here, so we're holding it down for the garage fam here. Bag you guys hold hole. it down. Yeah, we're a and lot bagging, bagging some, a lot. Bagging some cash, bagging some hole, bagging some cash. That's what 100%. we're doing here. Shout out to the ACL, Stacy Moore Commissioner. Uh, just, it's exciting. This is the World Championship that we're at right now. Uh, if you have a television at your house, uh, hopefully you do. It's 2021. Definitely, yeah. Tell them. ESPN. Hey, ESPN. Um, I think they got some ESPN coming up tomorrow night. You're Sunday. playing? Are you playing one yeah, of these? Yeah, I'm playing right? tomorrow um, in advanced singles, doubles Saturday, and then trying to go for a pro qualifier on Sunday. We'll see. Got to get hot. Got to get hot. But um, that's all it takes. Get hot. Get your mind right. You can do it. BB23, temporary truck god. Yeah. Full time cornhole superstar. We we literally have have pro hole baggers in the Discord, and that's right. We didn't even know it. We, we didn't, didn't even know, know it. it. But we know Insane. it now. Uh, also, also the Let's Go guy in our inside tailgating video. Love that, by the way. Just can, can we get a Let's Go? Let's go! <laughs> let's fucking go. Let's All right, go. So, so let's fucking go. Let's go ahead, before we get into Watkins Glen, uh, the go bowling at the Glen, let's talk about the hit. Let's talk about the reason, obviously, other than the fact that you're bagging hole this weekend uh, as a pro, you had one of the largest DraftKings hits in the Discord. You're a premium sub, garage fan for life, stamp of approval. Okay, so 10,000. I'm just going to hand you the mic. Talk about the experience. You took the picks from the free picks, the free picks from the truck, from the truck king, a.k.a. that day, truck god himself, not G-O-D-G-A-W-D, uh, took them from him. And uh, just, just just walk us through the process of that shit show of a race that won you so much fucking money. Which was a, a, a an absolute heartbreaker for me because Chandler Smith got robbed. Oh, yeah. but I helped you out, though. This yeah. isn't about me. This is about you. I, I, helped, I helped your heart, though, a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. When I sent you that screenshot. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's always But, yeah, like uh, you know, I'm premium on the premium, but watch the uh, watch all your podcasts and everything and, and then took looked at the free picks, man, and that Griffin pick. The Griffin is what done it. Jay Griffin, uh, who was driving the 34. I think that was one of the picks, if I could remember, I don't know if I wrote about him, but there's always like a few other guys I'll give after right qualifying. Before the race. Yeah, there's qualifying right before the in that race. race. Yeah. And uh, they did heats, I believe. Yeah, they did heats. And uh, after the heats, I was like, this is one of my guys. I yeah. think I gave like he three extra guys. He pointed him out. I yeah. went with it. I trusted the truck god, said, 
I don't like it, but I'm going to go with it because he said it. You, you also know? have to give credit to, to Father Time because of how long that race took. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you what. <laughs> this race lasted forever in three days. Knoxville, Iowa. I would think we all remember. Dirt race. They come down, what was it, five or six overtimes? Yeah, it was all so my, dumb. Team. I mean, it was, it so was forever, dumb. you know. And – I'm working a job that night. I can't drink. <laughs> My nerves are shot. <laughs> and they come down. I've got, let's see, I'm looking at the lineup, the screenshot right now. We finished 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, 12. My guys are all running top 15. There's chaos everywhere. Last two laps that lasted the last 20 because of the restarts. Guys wrecking everywhere. And I'm just like, Oh my God! Please end. Just end the race. I'm winning ten grand at the first overtime, and we go six more. And the truck god and everybody else was looking out. Everybody survived chaos of a demolition derby on top ten grand. And I just like congrats. Oh fucking my God, dude. dude! It was it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Hey, truck god, that's where it came from. That hey, premium, get it now. You will not regret it. Mine paid for. A thousand times, ten, a hundred times. What I can't do math right now. Okay, no, a bunch. math is not necessary. It's, it's way overpaid for for the next ten years. Okay, get premium. He's got it going on. That's an ad. Let's go. That's an ad. Annual <laughs> premium now for ten years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real, <laughs> for free. Let's go. Hey, cheers, cheers, cheers. That, cheers Let's go. Cheers, get we the premium. The if you don't have enough. premium, you're running back there with Cody Ware. Okay. So, <laughs> that was a good run. Yeah. Running back there so, with Ware. Yeah. Back there with Ware if you don't have premium. Okay, okay. We, we love you, Cody. You know, you do big things for us sometimes. <laughs> yeah. We'll watch out for you. But if you don't have premium, get it. You're missing out. Yeah, That's well, what happened. There yeah, you happened. go. Yeah, man. Yes, guys. That's awesome. So, that is awesome. Anyway, man. this week, Watkins Glen. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's so, get it. We got a lot to get into. We're going to dive into this. Uh, I think it's it's safe to say we did a little bit of research uh, after bagging some hole, watching some pros bag hole on ESPN three, uh, streamed on DraftKings Live as well. So uh, ESPN eight, the Ocho comes on tomorrow as well. I think uh, Marty Smith is going to be one of the celebrities that's going to be playing. Got yeah, NASCAR guys, big NASCAR guys. Marty Smith, Ryan McGee, love it. Uh, been a part of the NASCAR industry for and your a Panther long. Boys. Time. And then Mike Tolbert. Yep. Yes. Yep. Veteran pants. It sucks, but it's kind of cool being the only Panther fan in the state of Mississippi right next to New and we Orleans. We give you shit for it. Yeah, I don't care. Fuck the same. Shout out to Jay Stu, though. Jonathan yeah. Stewart. Mike Tolbert, former fullback, who is a bowling ball stud. And then Jonathan Stewart, heard is a super cool guy and obviously was a huge part of the Panthers franchise for a long time. So it's going to be gonna fun. fun. It's going to be fun Friday night. Yeah. So once you, after you watch, uh, you know, whatever else you watch on TV, you just, just, just start, just go there. Nine o'clock Eastern two. time. ESPN, ESPN two, two, but will be ESPN eight, the Ocho. And then you can just start there for Friday, roll right into Saturday with the Xfinity action and then right into Sunday. We you also forgot about the most important race, the trucks. Trucks. The trucks. Trucks to open up Saturday. I did it on purpose. No, you I got, just forgot. Yeah, yeah okay. no. Trucks to open. You know what we need? <laughs> we need a truck diecast. We need a truck diecast up here. I want maybe Ron Hornaday. Should we just that. go old school Longhorn? Oh, dude, number six, Good Wrench, Ron Hornaday truck. Yeah. Beautiful. But Liked anyway, it. trucks on Saturday, Xfinity on Saturday, right after. And then obviously Sunday, you got the cup race and then the IndyCar race. So it's going to be, be, it's gonna be amazing. So let's talk about the cup. We're going to talk about cup here. Obviously, you know where to get truck information, Xfinity information. You go to garageguysfantasysports.com. Dale Tanhart on Twitter. There he is. Dale Tanhart himself. Uh, first first pick, I think this is a uh, an easy one. Uh, he's starting in P11. It's uh, It's Bill's boy. Hey. Bill's boy, Chase Elliott, Hooters boy. Yeah, Hooters, Hooters boy. boy. Too. Shout, shout, to, shout out to Hooters. Hey, right now, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this again. I'm gonna sidetrack us one last time. Second but it's, ad of the day. It's worth it though because literally, I think we've eaten Hooters two days in a row, and I never get tired of it. I love wings. You, you're a big wing oh, yeah, guy. I love wings. I'm, hey, 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 wings. Anybody want to go down for a wing contest? I'm your guy. Let's go. That's it, Joey Chestnut. He's calling you the fuck out. Beer. You're calling out Joey Chestnut right now. I'm going. Let's go, Joey. 
I got you on the way. You just got called out, Jerry. <laughs> you just got called out. Um, but, no, go to Hooters right now, okay, just wherever you are. I don't care where, what you're doing. Just get up, drive to Hooters. And the beautiful thing about it is we're now Hooters ambassadors. So if you use promo code GARAGEGUYS when you order on the Hooters app or at HootersToGo.com, you can save $10 on any order, $30 or more. It's at participating locations, and that's money. You save money. Ten dollars you could use to put on the picks that we give. You yeah. Turn, Are, look, maybe about premium. That could win you ten grand. There you go. Ten dollars is all it takes. Proof. Ten dollars is all it takes. But I picked like Todd Gilland to win at Coda, uh, plus eighteen hundred. That means you put ten dollars. That ten dollars we just saved you, courtesy of Hooters. You yeah. turn that into one hundred eighty bucks right there. You bet your ass, Todd Think went to Hooters that. after that race. Oh yeah, no you question bet your about ass. it. But yeah, shout out to Hooters, big hoots guys. We love it. So, yeah, again, promo code Garage Guys, $10 off any order, $30 or more at participating locations when you order on the Hooters app or at Hooters2Go.com. All right. Delivery so, and carry out, too. Yeah, delivery and carry out. Don't forget, fine print guy. Big fine print. Here he comes, guy. big fine print guy. We're back. All right, well, we're back to Chase Elliott because he is Hooters guy. Um, so, Elliott, I, I, do we even need to talk much here? Usually I just write like one sentence now when I write about him. I'm like, he's Chase Elliott, and that's it, and that's all I write. Last three road course races, uh, first, second, and first. Uh, honestly, one of them, he probably should have finished second to Larson, but, you know, NASCAR yeah. rigged it for, his, for their boy with yeah. the rain. It's yeah. whatever. He was his dad was guy. there. Bill was there. But, but the astonishing Bill. deal here is – 16 road course starts. He's won seven of those races, which is the highest winning percentage of all time at a road course. Second place is actually Tim Richmond on that fun fact. Shout out to Tim. Who had a short career but was very successful. Look, the guy, honestly, Chase, he really doesn't get enough credit for how good he is at the road courses. Yeah. It's, it's absurd. I think he I does mean, get a lot of credit. I mean, everyone calls him the fucking road king, so I think he I, gets I, a lot of credit, But here's actually. the thing. I don't think when it comes to Jeff Gordon, the credit that Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart got for their road course dominance. Fake roads. Chase Elliott is up here. I mean, Jeff Gordon is oh, right yeah. here. Tony Stewart's right there. So that's I what mean, I'm talking about dude, with he had a respect to how people view his dominance. Let's talk about 2019 and 2020. Literally won every road course race. Like Watkins Glen in August of 2019 won that shit. Charlotte Roval, September 2019, won that shit. Daytona Road Course, August 16th, 2020, won that shit. Charlotte Roval, October 2020, won that shit. That's like one, 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 one equals four. Shout out to Kevin Harvick. JK, we're not talking about Kevin. Yeah, we're not going there. Come on. Yeah. He's one of those guys, man. You're like, he can't do it again. And guess what? He does it again. That, that's the you thing. Know? And that's it's like, that's part, there's no way. That's part of the perception. No way. That's part of the perception. Like, oh, he's not going to do people it again. Get and then he doesn't. Him. People are like, Because he's whatever. like, there's no way he wins it again. Hey, they said that about Larson after his second race. There's no way he wins again. Hey, there's no way he wins again. Hey, there's no way he wins again. The man goes out there and wins. Four Chase in a row Elliott this does year. this at road courses. He wins. Go with Chase. Yeah. Don't be stupid. And uh, the, his price is only 10600 which to me is absurd no, that he's, he's at 10 6 that's Only 200 away from a 10 4 That's worth the risk. 10 4 That's a big 10 foil. Uh, we love, so let's stay in the Hendrick uh, stable, and let's talk about the guy that I've, I think, I think you think, and you as well, yeah, think can agree. probably dominate this race early on. And uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and, and, and shake the juju. Two weeks have been off. We're going right back to Mr. Kyle Larson, Kyle L. himself. At surprise, 10-2. surprise. Surprise, surprise. Look, he drives a five. Shout out to Terry two time, forever and always. Uh, but it's his five now. It's Kyle's five. And I, you've, you've already seen the proof's been in the pudding this year, just what he's been doing now. Obviously, after the flat tire, I think there was a little mental shake. Two weeks of sitting at home watching Olympics, probably trying to get better at golf, as always. I think that's enough to propel you, especially when you're starting behind three Team Penske cars. You want to be like, hold up, hold up, don't forget who the fuck I am, and then just get up there and just take over. Yeah, Watkins Glen last two finishes, sixth and eighth in 2018, 2019. Keep in mind, we did not come here in 2020 because of COVID restrictions. But at the end of the day, he really struggles, or in the past, really struggled at Sonoma throughout his career. And if he can go into Sonoma and dominate like he did there, he could do the same thing at Watkins Glen, which he's had a, not a great history, but a better history than he had at Sonoma. Dude, so yeah. um, Kyle Larson, and, and the theme of the year, and the theme that I go with when I, I do my betting picks is what is most likely to happen? If you stick with that strategy, you hear me say it all the time. What is most likely to happen? 
If you go with that strategy most of the time, you will probably win. Really, stats so, don't lie all the time. No, not all the time. They now sometimes Eric Almirola plus ten thousand, whatever. Yeah, fucking uh, that, nerd. Yeah, yeah. nuts, <laughs> nuts. You saw I that shit with him and Riley yeah, Herbst's nerd I did, car. I did. That was great. Yeah, but it, big like nerd I said, car guys. So I go with that theme, and then you got to stick with the theme of Hendrick Motorsports. Doesn't matter what track it's been, the guys have just been so dominant all year long, and especially at the road courses. The last two road courses, or I'm sorry, two of the last three road courses, Elliott and Larson have finished one two. Thanks, Chad. So, I, don't I, mean, th- I don't think the Penske guys really fire off that well either. Uh, the, you know, Kyle's going to be eager. He's going to be he's going to be eating right to start with. He knows he can get that differential right at the beginning with fresh tires. He's going he's going to dive bombing into one. He's going to try to get the lead quick. Yeah, um, I could see it. I could see it. Guys kind of just like stay there and they hang out the whole race. They might be there at the end, but they're they're not going to go after it. Larson's young. He's not scared. He's he's going for it. I'm going to tell he you. He wants to get out front, get clean air, and and ride. Um, I think you can do it quick. Penske, and you may you probably agree with me on this. I know you probably will as well. It's uh, it seems like there's a lot of more big brain shit going on at Penske, and not so much just soul racing. Because when you look at Brad, uh, he is fucked up on sh- trying to play a strategy out at so many races over time that I've seen. It's hilarious. And he's got the Roush thing going on, man. He's yeah. all over the place right now. He's kind of yeah. like he's like I have nothing left to prove. Like I'm on a team. Sit on the pole. He, eh. He's hanging out with LeBron right now. He doesn't care. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I look at, I think the Roush thing actually, excuse me, I think the Roush thing is important actually from a mental perspective, but also uh, collectively Penske has been so inconsistent with the road courses. Yeah. I look at Ryan Blaney, who was in position to win the Bush Clash at Daytona. Um, he's had speed just about everywhere this season. Logano ran well at the Daytona road course uh, when he finished second to Christopher Bell, almost had that one. Uh, Logano also ran well at Sonoma. I think he finished third or fourth. So, and Brad Kay, honestly, it's so weird because Brad Kay used to be so strong at Watkins Glen for like a three-year period running second and third over and over again in those classic yeah. finishes. But he has really fallen off on the road course deal, just struggling. But the way they look at it is we talk about the strategy deal. They, they love to play strategy because they know they don't have the fastest cars. So and they're all locked in the playoffs. They all have wins. Why not we try to flip this race? There's a reason they're one, two, three. That's right. right. Yeah. No and practice in qualifying this. And this thing, look at look at Brad Kay, gas mileage race. Who's up front all the time? Yeah, they are always the guys taking strategy. the risk. And strategy. that's a deal here too with rain in the forecast. I mean, you never know the rain. the elements could change this, the dynamic of this race. Anyway, you know, there's there's three different strategies going on every lap. Yeah, so. absolutely. So it's, it's hard to it's hard to bet your money on those guys considering where they're starting and considering the history. Logano has a win at Watkins Glen in 2015, but that's been a long time ago, and he's not right. – hasn't historically yeah, been a great road course guy. So Let's talk about that. The rain may be coming. Usually, like, a lot of guys will get packed up in the middle and then, like, shit can just spiral out, whatever. That can happen in any race. So we got to go to the back of the pack. We got to look at where we're going to find some heavy place differential uh we we've we've done a little bit of bag and hole today and now we're gonna we're gonna bag the back so we're just gonna just go straight there shout out to back to back and listen to a lot of drake mixtapes lately has nothing to do with this pick shout out to chase briscoe uh chase briscoe he's gonna be starting i believe 27th 8300 on DraftKings, and I, if, if it hasn't happened already, people should start really recognizing the fact that Briscoe is definitely kind of like maybe I wouldn't say a road course ace, but he's definitely surgical on road courses. He knows how to thread the needle, and that's one thing that we've seen. Like looking over his stats, like going like towards the back, he doesn't have much, but I mean he's got two top ten finishes, uh, Coda and Road America this year alone. He's done that, and he did that, Coda starting in 27th, which is where he will be starting for this race as well. Started 35th at Road America, finished 6th. So, you're – I just feel like it's just – it's – It's the chalkiest play on the board. It's There's so no question. chalky, bro. Like, um, my teeth are just, like, powdered that's his, up that's right now from here. chalk. You know, you look at, you look at Chase, and he, he's kind of been running like, meh. And then you go to road course, and it's like, hey, look, there's yep. Chase. Where's he at? Where'd he come from? Yeah, top and 10, I, right? I really attribute it to – the fact that he is a su- he's a young, super talented driver who is a an absolute wheel man has a dirt background, and when the when NASCAR runs this package that's a low downforce, short spoiler, high horsepower, guys like him excel. Guys like him, like Ross Chastain, wheel man, Kyle Busch, wheel man, 
those guys typically do better at these tracks than they do at the mile and a half where it's just full throttle all the way around, which I cannot stand, and I talk about it all the time, but we're not going to go there. Don't but, forget the power of T. Stu as well. He grew up idolizing Tony Stewart, drives Tony Stewart's car, Tony Stewart's old number. Who was good at Watkins Glen? Oh, yeah. I think okay. he won. Tony won, th I think, three years in a row from 04 to 06, maybe, or 05 to 07. All we need really now good. is just Chase Briscoe to start cussing out media members, and yeah, we will we will have, have the rebirth. He, and shit, you know? Like, that dude. Don't say it. Dude, he's still got a lot of career left. Chase is a – he just seems like the nicest dude ever. There's no way. Just Which is okay, though. It's okay. I mean – and Big like Chase said, Energy, the, 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 for like sure. Like I said, man, his price is 8300 He's finished sixth in two consecutive road course races. They've had good speed, uh, good talented driver, obviously, like I talked about. Stuart Haas collectively has just been just a mess, and it's been so bizarre. And uh, two of them are going to end up in the playoffs. Yeah, their moment. I mean, obviously. I mean, with, who would have thought Al Marola would have been the first guy to win a regular season race? Yeah. But, okay. but yeah, Briscoe, I think, is he's the chalkiest play of the week at 8,300. He's going to have huge ownership percentages. But, you know, you got to play him. I think you got to play him because his potential of getting a top ten is high. Hundo P. Uh, last play, last pick for this show which will be on the free picks. Go to garageguysfantasysports.com. You'll get to read about what I write about these guys a little bit more in depth, and you'll also get the link to the video that you're already watching now. So no point. Uh, so let's uh, talk about our last guy. We had some debate about this one. Uh, literally spent probably a solid 15 minutes discussing, weighing this out, because there is some unknowns here, but we have to take into consideration what we've seen this year uh, from – the homie Corey LaJoy starting in P29, 5,800 on DraftKings. This is your low dog dip play of the week. The place differential has high, high potential to exist. Um, and just before I let you get into your, your spiel on Corey, um, we have seen him this year. I think it was starting in Daytona. Um, we, we've seen him get those, those finishes right at, you know, 20 inside the top 20. He's been flirting right around that, that number 20. Averaging 20 at road courses. Yeah, you know. so there, there's, some, there, there's a little bit of something, something there. And I know, obviously, you're very, like, very, 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 very. I'm just kidding. Nothing's really happening right now. No, nothing. But I know, nothing. I know I that. That's why I was like, is there a cop here? We're not, yeah. we might not. I, I basically right just now. did that for like a promo, guys. There's, there, that was it. I'm going to clip that and put it on something. Here probably. comes the zoom in. The zoom yeah. in with me talking just and saying something fucking it. stupid. And then yeah, zoom back to him. 100%. You probably zoom on the car that. We need to take a screwdriver and get this shit done. Yeah. See, that's why you watch this show. That's why you don't. <laughs> <but yeah. laughs> oh, shit. Back in 2009. Yeah. 2009, 2010. That's yeah, good. That was good. That's, that's good. good. Yeah. But no, you're. Yeah, I mean, we're we're all we're all feeling pretty decent about Corey at this point, especially after that conversation. So. Yeah, we we had a debate about a few guys. I think someone. Uh, Bubba Wallace at P26, I think, is worth a shot. He really he likes Anthony Alfredo worth a shot at P31. I think so. If I mean, with the, like we talk about the elements with the rain potentially in the forecast, there could be wrecks. Uh, if those guys keep it clean and stay out of it, you know, you could expect some guys up in the top 20 to take themselves out. It keeps out. you away from the cars that you know that yeah. aren't going to. And Watkins Glen is known for some violent crashes because the high speed, all the high speed corners. Um, but with Corey, so I think at the Daytona road course, they had some kind of issue, finished 31st. But in his last three road course starts, 18th, 20th, and 22nd, average finish of P20. Uh, his last four races in total, I think, he's run like 21st, 22nd, 20th, 19th. That's good, solid momentum for a team of their stature. And, I, I mean, there's no question. We all believe that Corey is a pretty talented driver. He's proven it with the equipment that he has and the runs that he's had collectively at all racetracks. But the road course numbers definitely stick out with the last three with two top 20s and the other one being right outside the top 20. Uh, I think the place differential in all those events was solid. So starting P29, like the, the same thing we just talked about with other guys potentially taking themselves out and, on, and being optimistic and reasonable that he might have top 25 speed 
That's a big play at $5,800. I mean, that's, that's Kawiki's old building. It's the seven, okay? So, I mean, like, obviously, you know. You know, if he finishes his average, that's 10, 10 points place differential. That's huge, you know, for a guy really that low. Him to be up in the, yeah. The 20s. You, at his you know? price, yeah. If he yeah, does exactly. his average, are you calling him average? Corey, are you just average? You're going to be better at average this week, you know? There you go. You know? So. At his yeah, at his price. I mean, if he finishes twenty fourth or twenty third, yeah. it's still a it's still a positive. Yeah. At fifty eight hundred, you're so able to cheap. so so able to load out the rest of your lineup. You could double up Chase Elliott with Larson. You could double up Elliott with Truex, Larson and Truex. I mean, it, it leaves a lot, uh, a lot to, to a lot of high power left in the spaces. So. Yeah, with, with the high power that also comes with $15,100 in salary left on the table with those four drivers that we've just talked about. So that's how much money you got left over. Again, those picks were Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, Chase Briscoe, and Corey LaJoy. A lot of C's, 1K. Uh, don't know what sound. It was like, Can I give a guest star a gut boy? Guest star, you got a good boy. Guest star, good boy. So disclaimer: these guys don't like this guy this week, but it's a, it's a gut thing. BB two three oh, gut no. pick right here. Okay. They know. They know what's coming. Let's hear it. Dylan, man, I'm I'm huge on recent form. These guys are history, way back in the day, years before. Dylan's been doing good this this year on road courses. He's starting where P what where are we 16. at? Sixteen. Sixteen. He's averaging twelve. You know, it's one of those things. If you got the money. Play a couple lineups. If you don't feel it, don't do it. I'm not guaranteeing nothing. It's it, I'm like Chase. I'm like Chase. At 6,100, I got the stats. At 6,100, if the man is average for this year, he's finishing 12th, that's 35 DFS points. Place differential, finish position. And, and the only reason I would play him is because of that price. Because he – only $300 more than LaJoy. And based on those season stats, I mean, if you – if He's been a top 20 yeah. guy all year. It's it one of those like things everywhere. You look at history, you go with recent form. You know, the guy, you know, you could look at it this way. He's getting more experience. He's getting better. Look at him this year. He's been doing good. Past years, he's not done good at Watkins Glen. Terrible. It's just one of those things. Terrible. Terrible. Disclaimer, he's done terrible at Watkins Glen But in I the agree. Past. If, you have, if you have some some If you got cash, the extra cash. You got a ticket. If you got some that's crowns. That's one of those guys that's going to give you a little bit of leverage maybe. Got some crowns, extra tickets to play a free yeah, lineup. Yeah, free crowns. Lineup. There you go. DFS I mean, yeah, crowns. Throw them in. I mean, you, everybody knows like you better be playing more than one lineup when you're playing NASCAR. Okay, that's that's literally the only way to do it. If you want to make sure you get the most bang for your buck, there's tons of contests that don't cost a shit ton of money. Like literally, like every week. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> one yeah. dollar. You can play quarters, you can play a, dude. You can play I. A free. I'm the king. <laughs> There's a free one. I'm yeah. the king of 25 cent and 50 cent line. I love to just max the max shit out of those. Max yeah. Like $10 to max a quarter, a quarter of content. Start at the 25 cent lineups, max, max them out, then copy all 20 of those, and then run them up because that's how you're going to bag fucking yeah. tourneys. We bag hole, we bag tourneys. That's what garage guys do. Uh, only thing I'll say about Dylan. I think that the the only thing with him is like you would have to have like a perfect lineup. He would need to stay right where he was at, or obviously go forward. So that's the risk factor, you know. That's it. That's but the risk factor. you got you got BB two three. That's BB two three. Some high class advice right there. BB two three's gut boy. You can't get BB two three's gut boy anywhere else, right here. Um, unless you watch this show. And if you want more cool stuff like that, go to the fucking Discord because it's free. Okay, premium is not. Premium. Premium is not. And you'll get all of it. Listen to BB. How, hey, how much money? How much money did you win? Uh, let's see. Eight, nine, ten thousand. Ten G's. Sorry, I had to be a little cocky boy right there. That's okay. We're good. Uh, beer's cold and we like money. So, bags, Jeez. baby. Bags. Hey. Ten fucking G's. Ten grand on truck. That's insane. So, be reading his truck articles, his Xfinity articles, the free articles, and then subscribe to Premium. Hey, look, it... It will pay for itself. Absolutely. Love you, man. Dude, it's, we're going to have a great weekend here. ACL HQ Rock Hill Event Center. If you're in the Charlotte area, oh, cheers. Yeah, what are you going to drink? The tire? Try it. But yeah, look, that's all we got. Again, go back a fucking tourney, Garage Guys Fantasy Sports. Follow me at Garage Guy Chase everywhere social media exists. Dale Tanhart, all social media Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. BB BB two three. Do you do you, you want to give it? It's Bradley Babson on Twitter. I'm basic. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Got him. Hey, I'm good. Um, yeah, 
But Discord, BB23, hey, premium. All Friend day. him. Friend it. It's okay. Um, but best advice I can give him, I've said it 100 times tonight, premium. At least. Get premium. It's going to pay for it. You will thank me later. We love and, it. And one last thing, I want everybody that's watching this right now, get in the comments and just say, best of luck, bag and hole, BB23. This man has got fucking games to win tomorrow. We're going to back one, one more. Put them up. You got to cheers with Jeff now because this is birthday. Oh, yeah. Cheers Happy with birthday. Jeff Gordon. You want to feel old? Jeff Gordon is fucking 50. He's 50. Remember, remember when NASCAR had the 50th anniversary? Shit. Jeff had his today. He was born. Unreal. All right, that's it. All right, sports profit repeat, baby. It's the garage, guys. 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 It's the garage guys, 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 it's the garage guys. It's 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 the garage guys. It's it's the garage guys.